Hey guys, what's up? So a lot of people think that eating healthy is eating bland and that's not always the case. So what you want to do is you always want to start with unprocessed foods, things that are natural, and then of course have it so you can add in your own seasoning, spices, salt, sugar, whatever to your taste. When you get prepackaged foods, a lot of times they have too much oil and too much of sodium or sugar or whatever. So the best thing is just to start easy and simple and then make your own seasonings and spices. So I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I have and that I use. It's not my whole spice cabinet because that's like huge, but I'll show you a couple things or several things actually that I use on a frequent basis. And don't be afraid to try different things try different spices, try blending some stuff together. When I'm out, I always look at the blends of spices and stuff, and usually, like say Marshalls or Ross or some of those, um, I don't know, I don't want to say secondhand stores, but some of those places have really good seasonings and spices. And just by changing that, you can drastically change what your food tastes like. So you can make kind of the same foods or some of the same meals, and you change the seasonings and spices, and it make takes on a whole new meal so I'm gonna show you guys what uh, I have just a couple of things and it might give you guys some ideas so check it out this is cocoa powder this is basically what's gonna make chocolate you have this and you add some sugar in and basically you have chocolate vanilla bean powder uh, this is date sugar so I use this in replace of a lot of sugar cinnamon yeah this is like in some old pill bottle because I have a huge bag of this but this is saline cinnamon um, or Ceylon cinnamon, uh, crushed, or this is just cayenne, red pepper, the real fine stuff, Himalayan salt, garlic powder, crushed red chili, same thing, I have a huge bag of this, so I just refill it. So these are all single, these are all kind of single spice stuff. Now we get into some of the blends. I found this one recently, this barbecue bonanza, I think this was at Marshall's, this was really, really good, I, I like this. Uh, just some gen general chili powder. This is another one I found at Marshall's, this pepper steak spice blend that's really, really good. And it's an Italian uh, seasoning, which has, uh, I don't know, like five or six different ingredients. And then nutritional yeast. So this uh, adds a lot of different kind of like a sort of a cheesy, nutty kind of flavor. So those are just a couple ideas for you guys to try out. Like I said, don't be scared. Pick up some spices. They're only a few bucks, and if you hate it, then it's no big deal. But if you like it, then it can make eating your vegetables and different stuff much, much easier to do. So if you have to have a little bit of salt or a little sugar in with your vegetables to make you eat them, then you know what? It's better than not having any vegetables at all. Hopefully this helps. And I will see you guys later. If you guys haven't checked out my ebooks, check that out. The uh, links are in below. One of them is an actual cookbook and some of these spices I use in it. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.